you will need the following supplies. Today we're going to look at logos. Logos are symbols used by organizations to identify their products. Successful logos are simple in design, easy to understand from a distance or when shrunken down, and they use limited color. An example of simple design is the Apple logo, which has evolved over time, similar to the company itself. Amazon uses easy-to-read typography. Here are some examples of local logos. What are they representing? What are they associated with? How do they use color or limited color? Or how do they use text and typography? What do they say about the organization? Today I want you to create your own personal logo. I want you first to brainstorm ideas. As you can see here, I started out with the first letter of my name, which is an A, and the last letter, which is an M. Come up with five or more ideas, and then take one of your watercolor pieces of paper and draw out your final idea. The first step is very important to getting down a strong logo. In my case, my first letter is an A, and because I teach art, I've chosen to create an easel. Once I've done that, lightly with pencil, then I'm going to go over it with color pencil. Again, I'm thinking about limited color and keeping my design very simple. You're welcome to leave it in black and white, or you can choose to use two or more colors or even one color. So I've chosen the primary colors because I teach art and I'm teaching primary skills in art. Once you've completed that, separately post both images to Artsonia and then put everything back in your portfolio. And then you're done.